welcome to BBC Proms Late Night with Radio 1 and me, Pete Top. Tonight, coming live from the Royal Albert Hall. Make some noise, Jules Buckley and the Heritage Orchestra. We wanted to come up with an unusual and unique way to celebrate um, Radio 1's long association with Ibiza. What better way than to get an amazing orchestra to play 70 minutes of amazing music that's been associated with the island. The vibe we're hoping to create is to be reminiscent of a club uh, as much as you can turn the Albert Hall into a club. We'll, we'll give it a shot. I'm hoping is this ultimately people dancing. We're a non-classical orchestra. We're basically like a beats orchestra and... Uh... Our, our aim is to make it like one continuous set, like tunes mixing and merging into tunes. Today, the guys are basically finding sounds. You know, there's many synth lines, uh, drum sounds, bass sounds, key, keys elements, which are super synonymous with that track. So in right here, right now, we've been discussing the combination of, of what might be the bass part and what is the, the kit part. And you hear this kind of really thumping bass drum. When you hit the kick, you hear this fifth overtone of the skin. You might start to think that that's a guy playing an E on the bass. It's not a bass line. It's not a bass line. I mean, what I'm saying is, I think that we should have this overtone, but I don't think it should be played by, like, the orchestra. So, you know, we're sourcing and creating these sounds before the next stage, which is then bringing in the orchestra and effectively blending and, and working the two elements together. It's kind of a misconception to think that musicians that went and had classical training only listened to Mozart, when of course they were listening to like Gabba, heavy metal, thrash, reggae, rap, whatever, you know. So actually most of the guys, in some ways, this music will be as familiar to them as the sonata they were studying with their teacher at the same time. Sometimes dance music doesn't always get the props it deserves um, in terms of the creation of fantastic melodies and, and tunes that mean so much to so many people. And I think that's another thing that I really wanted to do tonight here at the Royal Albert Hall was to acknowledge, you know, to, to play those tunes in this in this amazing um, theatre. I always remember as a kid watching the problems with my parents. I'll always remember waving flags and the madness, and this, the, the, this particularly on the last night. And I think that that has a lot in common with the euphoria that happens in Ibiza as well. So I wanted to bring our music into that environment. You know, hopefully we'll add something different and something extra that the Royal Albert Hall's never seen before, but very much in keeping with the spirit and traditions of what the problems is all about. will show that not all orchestras are the same and musicians can do different things and kids can learn to play instruments and not think well maybe I don't want to play classical music maybe I want to play some dance music I think that the proms are making great strides to bring audiences and basically just to like have some slamming parties within the festival you know because it can't all be you know super serious